Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls are doing? Hope you're doing great. As always, we have a, another video today on uh, on 3D and OpenGL. So I'm going to talk you through how to kind of set up your your engine or whatever this is um, for making the camera, right? So we're going to make an actual camera class. Uh, but before we get started, please check out the description box as always. Got a bunch of useful links down there, especially the C++ tutorials, if you're kind of unsure about pointers and stuff, and classes, of course. Um, and then you got my Twitter, follow me on there if you want, my support page, also Discord, you can follow me there. Uh, drop a like, subscribe if you want. Otherwise, let's just get started. So, what I want to do is I actually just want to prepare the whole uh, engine, um, and I'm going to actually start by going into game.h and I'm going to change this into update keyboard keyboard input alright and I'm going to make another one update mouse input alright so I got my two functions here and we're going to have an void update input right there uh, the reason is because we actually want to get some mouse input as well or moving the camera actually just panning it around and stuff and then you got the keyboard input to actually move it in uh, X Y and Z right so uh, what I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna put this to the side like that just leave it uh, actually I'm gonna define this control dot enter like that and then control dot enter like that okay now let's go in here game.cpp so they should have yeah they're right here okay just gonna take those put them under functions right there and then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna in update input I'm gonna do glfw whole events because I want to do that in the update input function and then I'm just going to go ahead and control X all of this, put it into update keyboard so we know what the hell's going on, alright? And then this update keyboard input and this update uh, mouse input. Boom. Okay, so we're good. Now, mouse input, all it's going to do is it's going to actually get a last mouse position, current mouse position, and, and stuff from the window. So, and there are two ways to do inputs, all right, in GLFW. I just want to show you those things. So you can go into the GLFW input guide in this link right here, okay? You can just Google GLFW input guide and, and you'll find it. But it shows you two ways. It, set, it shows you a way where you set a callback function to the window, all right? And then anytime you press a button, you'll actually be um, calling this function that you define. And then you got all these key codes and stuff you can use. But the way I use it is I use this. Um, no, that's not the one. I use. Uh, where is it? Uh, da, 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 da. It's actually get key. It is here somewhere. I probably just missed it. Uh, GL yeah, this is the one I use right here. So I get GLFW get key. And then I see if it's pressed. And then I do something. So I don't have a callback function for the keyboard. Um, per se so that's the way you can do it um, and you can set the input mode to sticky keys and stuff but one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into mouse input and we're not gonna use a set cursor position callback we're actually gonna use get cursor position and we're gonna save that position alright and we're gonna set the input mode to to this so I'm just gonna copy that and I'm gonna go ahead into my YouTube tutorial here and then in it open let's see in it uh, in it materials open GL options I think I'll put it right here I'll just do an input thing here I'll just set it to cursor cursor disabled so what that actually does is it kind of puts your cursor um, inside your window all right so if I run this now hopefully it will run not sure uh, then it will keep it inside the window it will hide it kind of so it should yeah see so it's hidden you can't see the cursor it's not going outside of the window it's still inside and it's a really good way to make a um, let's see yeah to make 
these things. Uh, why is this kind of weird right now? Let me see. Um, what the hell's going on? Okay, you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, can I close that? Boom. There we go. Okay. Boom. All right, that's fine. Oof. But the thing is, it kind of hides it and it, it puts it in the middle. So that's what we want, basically. Uh, let me just see why that was so strange. Q pyramid. All right. Uh, I think I changed something here. Never, never mind. Uh, let's go in here. Mouse input, keyboard input, and update input. All right. So I'm going to remove this, and I'm just going to keep update input here. Um, and it's going to keep updating these. And update keyboard input. Let's see. Right here. Okay. And it closes the window. Fine. It didn't do that for me there, but whatever. We'll check that out later. Anyway, then we need another thing. We need a delta time which is really important if we're going to move the camera around. So I'm going to go into my game.h again, right here. And I actually have a little cheat sheet thingy going here. So what we're going to need is we're going to need all these. Okay. We're going to need all these. And this is from another project I have. So it's kind of a little cheating, but it's okay. Um, let's just go down here and we have window. We have context actually. I'm just going to put it right here. So I'm just going to paste those and I'm going to say delta time right there and I'm going to say mouse input right there. So these are the things that we need. Okay. And delta time is just so that we can have a kind of consistent movement speed and stuff depending independent of the uh, of the frame rate. And then you have the mouse input, which we're going to save from this function. Um, uh, from this uh, glfw get mouse position function, but before we do that, I'm just going to go ahead into init uh, right here, and we have all our init functions. I'm just going to say this dt equals 0 0.0f. All right, this current time equals 0.f. So we just have to, you know, kind of initialize all of these. It takes a little time, but it's worth it. Last time uh, equals 0.f. And then we have this last mouse x equals 0.0. .0. Last mouse y equals 0.0. .0. So feel free to just copy paste this from my GitHub later. Don't You don't have to do all this if you don't want to. Mouse x equals 0 0.0. This mouse y equals 0 0.0. This mouse offset x equals 0 0.0. 0 .0. And then the two final ones this mouse offset y equals 0 0.0. So I hope you can see what these things do. This first mouse equals true. So you want to set that to true. That's important because this is this kind of calculates our first mouse movement. And once that's done, it won't be calculated again. But that's important because we're going to do subtractions and stuff. And you don't want to do that with a bunch of zeros. So if first mouse is true, we're going to do a little special case scenario. So just keep that in mind. Make sure that's true. And set all of these to zero, 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 zero. So now I'm going to make a little function here. I'm going to say functions void update dt okay simple as that all right and control dot enter on that um, go ahead into game.cpp again it should appear right here it's a good thing that we have that because it's really important um, there we go all right so we're gonna do that and then we have our update mouse input here as well so um, I'll see that I don't have that much time so I'm just gonna use my cheat sheet again and I'm gonna explain everything so this is another project I have if we go into if we go into uh, game right here game.cpp we have our little update DT I'm just gonna copy paste that I'm just gonna explain what we're gonna do so I'll just take all of this copy that um, go into my other project 
paste that right there. So this is what we're going to do. We're getting the current time. All right, this is the time right now. And then delta time is going to be current time minus last time. And last time is basically the last current time. So in this way, we kind of get the difference between frames every time we run update dt. So it gives you a delta time. And you can multiply any kind of movement with this delta time in order to make it frame rate independent. So that's exactly what we're going to do. This update dt. Okay. And then we're going to multiply stuff in input with this delta time variable. This is the one you use. Okay. So just make sure you remember that. You don't have to completely understand it right now, but um, if you want to make game engines, you probably want to get a good hang of why this works. And uh, I did make a video on that in my SFML series where I explain it in depth how that works. But uh, uh, hopefully in the future I'll have more time to explain that. Anyway, uh, so there you go. We go with that beautiful function right there. And then again into the cheat sheet. Completely cheating hardcore today. Let's just copy all of this shit right here. I just want to show you that it actually doesn't crash. So I just put that in. Now let me explain this before we have to end the video. Uh, this function right here. Okay, this function, I hope you can see that it, it kind of gets the cursor position from the window right here. And it puts it into these two variables, mouse x and mouse y. So if you ever want to see where mouse x and mouse y is, that's kind of going to just print out where your mouse position is right now. But when it comes to camera and stuff, you want to get a difference between the last position and the next position or the current position. And that will give you a distance, right? That will give you how much the camera should move in a certain direction. Okay, that's what we're looking for. So that's why we have the last mouse and the mouse offset X and all that stuff. So basically, the first thing that happens is, okay, is this the first time the mouse has moved? Yes, okay, fine. Then last mouse X is just going to be set to the current mouse position, just so it has a value. And then we'll unset first mouse. We'll set it to false, so that will never happen again. All right, so this is the first kind of error checking thing. Um, and then we go in here and we start calculating the offset. So the mouse offset X, these are the two variables we're going to be using, by the way, in the camera. So they're set to the current mouse position X minus the last mouse position. And since Y is kind of inverted, we need to subtract it in an inverted way as well. So the last mouse position Y minus this mouse position at the moment. You can try this out, you can print it out, you'll see that why we do it that way. But it's just because the Y is kind of inverted. Um, so that's why it's important. And then we set the last mouse to the current position. And I hope you can see a kind of a correlation between this, or a, a resemblance between this whole thing right here and the delta time. Because we set the last time to the current time, we set the last mouse position to the current mouse position. That's just to save it for the next calculation where this is used. Um, so there you go. That's about it. That's good preparation for the camera class. Um, in the next video, we'll probably create the camera class and we'll start shoving stuff in there. Um, but let's just, before we end, let's just uh, std see out this dt. And we'll do a little new line right there. All right. And then we'll say dt equals. Okay. Boom. Well, we can just do this in the update function actually. Uh, update right here. So I'm just going to print out dt and then I'm going to print out mouse position offset x. This mouse offset x, mouse offset y. this mouse offset y and then a new line to end that boom okay cool so hopefully this will show us what the hell is going on all right and if i can't quit with escape i'll fix that into the next video um okay so here you go i hope you can see that so the delta time is correct the mouse offset see how it goes it looks like if i'm moving now i'm moving the mouse left all right so boom you see it went into minus and then to the right, it's positive. Top, it's positive. Bottom, it's negative. All right, just like we want it. Now, escape still doesn't work for some reason. 
Um, let's see how we. Da, 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 da. All right, cool, cool, cool. It doesn't really matter. Uh, escape doesn't work. We're gonna have to fix that. But I'll close that for now. No problems. Um, and yeah, that's about it for this video. I'll fix everything until the next one. Hopefully, I'll I'll be able to explain what the hell happened. But uh, but yeah, for now we're good. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope it was cool. This was a little longer video than usual, but it's okay. Um, if you have any questions, just ask me. Either on my Discord, you can find the the link in the description, or you can send me an email as well. You can find that in the description. And drop a like, subscribe if you want, follow me on Twitter, all that stuff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.